Hey everyone, back again. Welcome back to yet again another video review. This time, everyone, we are going to be taking a look at the Transformers Generations uh, Heart of the Primes episode, Primal. My god, it's an awesome episode. I know not much happens, but I'll explain. So essentially what happens is basically Volcanic is a predicating... They continue to fight. They have their little banter yet again. Um, and... While it's going on, Victorio and Perceptor and Windblade are trying to just bash through the door that Megatron somehow cracked the code and ended up going into uh, to try and get the Requiem Blaster where apparently it might be. Um, <laughs> but basically, um, let's see. Let's see. Um, Volcanic is breaking up their little fight. Uh, Predaking cuts off the, like, pretty much just, like, um, just destroys the bridge towards the, 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 the dome there. So, basically, Volcanicus is basically trying to hold up Prey King, but before, uh, eventually he gets knocked over, and he, and he, uh, he swats Perceptor up to the side, uh, shoots down Windblade, and then confronts Victorion. We'll get to that, we'll get to that bit later. Um, meanwhile, Megatron, by himself, he encounters the said Requiem Blaster. It's sitting there, and Megatron's about to collect it, but then he sees a shadowy figure. It turns out to be Optimus Primal. And, oh my god. And Bruch Primal just tells Megatron to get the hell out of there, or that he's gonna he's gonna pay with his life, basically. And Megatron argues that he he's gonna leave, but he has to take the Requiem Blaster for his own doing. Um, Primal responds by just basically fighting Megatron, and pretty much Megatron and Primal have a little bit of a wrestling match. And it keeps fight they keep fighting, and then you hear punches off screen. You, we don't see the fight, um, and the eventual what happens later on. So basically, Victorion is left, like, fending for herself. Her Pregan just shoots her weapon out of her hand. Like, god damn it, Predaking. <laughs> we, how many times? How many times did, did your fellow Cybertronians have to tell you? Victorion does not have the name of a combination for, for, for Primus' sakes. Anyways, so essentially, Predaking's about to kill Victorion, but then Megatron, uh, Arrives in the nick of time, he he pretty much cocks the Requiem Blaster, he gets the weapon primed and ready to fire Predaking, threatening to kill him if he doesn't respond, basically telling him that the Enigma's been misplaced, Megatronus has it, um, and, and eventually Predaking just says, you know what, I'm done, and Predaking just basically leaves. Which, <laughs> I think it's going to play into the next episode, I'll get to that. Um, and what happens from then on in, Volcanicus, who pretty much gets stuck in one of the... gets stuck, he decombines all the Dinobots back to normal, and the door shoots up this signal, which translates to ancient Cybertronian coordinates deciphered by Perceptor. And at the end of the episode, we see Optimus Primal, or at least the shadow of, of Optimus Primal, telling him about the book, second book of prophecies and all that stuff, and another ancient book that was created before time was created and essentially it turns out that Optimus Primal has been guarding this Requiem Blaster longer than he could remember and it's an, eventually he pops out, introduces himself and that's the end of the episode. All in all it was a very good episode, it was nice to see Optimus Primal finally. Um, I mean and I mean I, I get it why Prey King wants it, he explains why he wants Ignemus so he could Basically, trying to survive the apocalypse that Megatron is, you know, wields upon him. So, because he has the, he already has the Enigma combination. He has the Matrix of Leadership. He needs the Requiem Blaster to complete his uh, triumphant, you know, or whatever he said back in the first episode. He also mentioned something about, or not, I didn't mention. But there's also the ve the key to ve Victoria, uh, the key to Vector Sigma, actually. Because, remember, the key to Vector Sigma is what enabled Megatron from Beast Machines to try and get Cybertron to where he wants to be. And why do I keep going back to that? I have no idea. I really have no idea. i got to stop that. Now, it, okay, so basically the whole thing with Pregnant. Now, I, of course, as I mentioned, he left after, you know, Megatron finally got into his head saying, Victorion does not have the Enigma. Megatronus has the Enigma. Um, and basically... Uh, I think it's going to play into the next episode where probably we're going to see Overlord and Rodimus Unicronus show up again and Predaking's going to get killed off and 
Overlord's going to probably face off against Megatron. That's my that's my prediction on what's going to happen in the next episode because you never know what's going to happen. You just don't because okay, we have a lot of these characters, you know, and <laughs> wow. Um, as with all the fight sequence with Prairie King Volcanicus in this episode, it was pretty interesting, pretty, you know, nonchalant. I mean, Volcanicus did get some jabs here and there, and Prairie King got the last laugh. Seeing Optimus Primal, um, to fight Megatron was interesting. And here's my uh, other thing. We saw them fight a bit, but we didn't see the whole fight scene. We'll probably see that in a flashback, maybe, maybe a flashback of it, in the next episode, you know, how Megatron got away with the Brecrian Blaster, you know, before Optimus Primal got to him. So it's going to be really, really hard to say what's going to happen. Maybe Megatron, maybe Optimus Primal will decide, you know what, take the Requiem Blaster, you know, or maybe Megatron explained to Primal before he left. I don't know. We're going to have to find that out. Um, and you know what? There's one detail I think Mega that should have been in the episode. Remember in, um, was it at the last second or... Or one of the, the like midway through the Titans Return series. Remember when Megatron pulled out the hologram from his hand to show the Combiners how the Mistress of Flame actually got killed, and you know it was, it was because by Overlord, of course. Megatron should have done the same thing to Predaking, and then he would have shut up about it and just said, "You know what? I'm done." That's what could have happened, but no, no. I just, I mean, and maybe he could have shown that to. Freaking Optimus Primal! Maybe we'll see them in the next episode. I don't know. It was interesting. Um, oh yeah, and Ron Perlman voicing Primal was pretty good. I know some people are some are uneasy about it because you know they pretty much prefer Gary Chalk, but honestly, it doesn't matter. Ron Perlman ca captures the character of Optimus Primal pretty good. I mean, and yes, I know the fight seems brief, but we're gonna probably see a lot more Primal fighting and stuff. So hopefully. Unlike Optimus Prime, he does not uh, join his. Hopefully, his spark does not join the Matrix because I think his his essential lead is bigger than ever, and that Megatronus has to be defeated somehow. Because remember, that's the final component Megatronus is after the Requiem Blaster of all things. That's the same blaster that killed Smokescreen and Transformers Armada. Um, okay, not the same, you know, not the same blaster, but the same by name. Because in Armada, the Requiem Blaster was, was created by three Minicons that combined into a Mega mega Cannon. Well, of course, anyway. The whole Armada thing is going to be a whole story for another day, but all in all, the episode was interesting. It was very fun to see. Um, <laughs> the bantering against Megatron was hilarious, especially, uh, you know, Megatron hearing them with no response. The swearing is immense. Megatron, I, I no joke. I have heard a bunch of swearing in this. I guess there was a bit of swearing in Combiner Wars. Okay, hardly any swearing in Combiner Wars. In Titans Return, it picked up, and then in the, the swearing has gotten immense in, Titan, in Power of the Primes. Because Megatron references his bravados with Optimus Prime in the past, and, you know, says, oh, you know, <laughs> you know, he's like, oh, he's, <laughs> he's the same type of personality that, won't, that that tries to piss me off and all that stuff. Well, of course, it was so funny to make it the way Megatron said it. I mean, it didn't piss me off. I'm sure it pissed a lot of Megatron fans off, and I'm sure it, it, it pissed Megatron off, too, but I wasn't pissed. I was immensely happy, although I was almost pissed with Predaking. So there was that. So anyways, all in all, guys, it was a good episode. Gonna be curious to see what happens in the next episode. Hopefully my prediction goes through. If it doesn't, then oh well. So anyways, guys, that's my video review of the Transformers Generations uh, Power of the Primes episode Primal. I will see you all very soon. I will be back as soon as possible with my next video. And yes, so take care, everyone. See you soon. Have a good day, and I shall catch you all later. Bye-bye.